Good morning, everyone. Great to be with you this morning to bring a short encouragement from God's word. Why do we bother? Well, we believe in the power of God's word to bring transformation to your heart and to your life. A short disclaimer before I start. If there's two children running around in the garden behind me, um, if they've got no clothes on or they're building something, they're not my children. They're just escaped from somebody else's house. So I'll do my best to ignore them if they appear. We're doing our summertime's favourite theme and today I'm doing my lesser known Bible character and that is Joseph of Cyprus and I'm cheating a little bit because he's not really known as Joseph of Cyprus that's where he was from he's called Barnabas you see the apostles they renamed him Barnabas why did they rename him Barnabas Barnabas means son of encouragement they saw something in his life in his character how he lived how he encouraged people and that's what they called him son of encouragement what a great affirmation that is to his life has been transformed and that's what he does he encourages people and we get a glimpse into his life and into his character in a part of acts chapter 11 so we'll have a quick look at that so acts 11 we see a persecution breaks out and the disciples they spread and it says that they go as far as Cyprus and they're preaching the word and it says they're sharing the news about Jesus to the Jews only but then it says some went to Antioch and they shared the good news of Jesus the good news of his power to save his power to transform life his power to, to forgive sins and his power to do miracles so they share this good news and it says they share it with the geeks also sorry it's not geeks it's greeks they share it with the greeks also and many of them get saved and then it says that the news reached jerusalem it meets that the news reached the mothership or the mother church so what do they do they send somebody they send somebody to help they send somebody to guide and to feed and encourage who do they send they send barnabas or barney so why did they send barney or barnabas well, they saw something in his character. They saw that he was an encourager. He encouraged people. He built people up. He cared about people. He cared about individuals. And he cared that they remained true to the word of God. And in Acts, it tells us he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit. So he was full of the presence of God in his life. And he was also a man full of faith, it says. And we were discussing this in house group, I think it was this week actually, that the characteristics of a true Christian, somebody who's walking an authentic Christian life. And we discussed it that, that these people that are true Christians, that they're following it, you can see something in their character. And we discussed that these people, they carry a real deep sense of peace, a real deep sense of joy, but also uh, they had the a confidence in that identity as Christians they carry a confidence and one of the things that came out as well is that people who walk an authentic Christian life who are, are full of the Holy Spirit they are an encourager they encourage people and we discuss some people that clearly have that gift in in church that they go around with that confidence to encourage people and it says this about Barnabas as well he encouraged them to remain true to the Lord with all of their hearts. That's what he did. He encouraged them to stay true to the Lord with all of their hearts. Not just a, an encouraging in a general sense, but he encouraged them to stay true to the Lord with all of their hearts and all of their lives. So Barnabas arrived in Antioch and he saw the situation. There was Romans, there was Jews, there was Geeks, sorry, there was Greeks and he saw the situation and he thought, who's the right man to help me? He went to Tarsus and he found Saul. Right man, right place, right time. Barnabas was instrumental, interestingly, in the history of the church. He was the one that went and found Saul. Saul had been overlooked, so to speak, because of his past. Because he was the man who was slaughtering Christians, because of the life that he'd led. But Barnabas, as a son of encouragement, he saw beyond his past and he saw his potential. And he went and he brought him back to Antioch and together they taught 
a great multitude of people to build them up and a great revival happened because they were the right men at the right time in the right place, bringing encouragement, bringing a positive influence. And as I said, Barnabas, he looked beyond Saul's past and he saw his potential. What would happen if we as individuals or as a church, we followed Barnabas' example to look beyond people's past lives, to look beyond their mistakes and to see the potential that God has, to see the positives in people's lives and to be an encourager, to encourage people to fulfil their full potentials, to always be an encourager, to always build people up and to always encourage people to remain true to the Lord with all of their hearts. What would happen in our lives if that's how we lived? What would happen in our work, in our home life, in our, in our church life? What would people think about us if that's the way we lived? People would know that we're different by the way that we encourage other, peop other people. Our words, our actions can bring positive change, be a positive influence into people's lives. There's a bird outside jumping on the bird feeder and I think it's a pigeon. It's not a small bird, that's for sure. So let's be an encourager like Barnabas. Let's be a positive influence in people's lives. Let's carry blessing and let's be a blessing to the people we meet today. And let's speak words of encouragement. I'll leave you with that. Have a great day, everybody. God bless and see you all soon. Bye bye.